Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making soothing bath salts with the recipe following. And I have these cute glass containers here that remind me of milk jars that people used to have back in the olden days. And I thought it would be a cute idea to add the bath salts in here. And then to finish off, I created a label saying bath salts or in German Bade salts that can be added later on. So let's get started with the ingredients that we need. So the main ingredient is dead sea salt, which you can see here. And dead sea salt will be our main ingredient in this uh, one kilo batch. I'm going to be using 600 grams. We are going to fill in this uh, bigger jar here. And that sea salt is working in a variety of ways to alleviate discomfort. It helps to strengthen skin tissue, improve blood circulation, eliminate toxins and balance the skin's natural pH levels. Dead sea salt can also help to treat eczema by exfoliating dead skin cells, rehydrating the skin and restoring depleted minerals. Our next ingredient is Epsom salt. Now, interestingly enough, this is not really a salt, but it is magnesium sulfate. This is a really great ingredient because in water it breaks down into magnesium and sulfate. The theory is that when you soak in an Epsom salt bath, these get into your body through your skin. Epsom salt bath water can soften rough, dry skin and exfoliate dead skin cells. It may also soothe skin affected by skin conditions. So for this recipe here, we are going to need 300 grams for this one kilo batch that I'm going to add to the dead sea salt. And this doesn't need to be like a total exact measurement like you would make soap where it is really, really important that you are very precise. Now comes our last ingredient here for this mixture which is one part of baking soda, meaning 100 grams. And this is just regular baking soda. You might ask yourself, why baking soda for this type of, of um, bath salt recipe? But it is actually interesting that um, baking soda is softening water and can alleviate skin irritation. So that's a good addition to have as well. It is very inexpensive and our grandmothers used it back in the olden days when they took a bath. So this is our total mixture that we have here. It's 10 parts and out of 10 parts it's 6 parts of dead sea salt, 3 parts Epsom salt and then 1 part of baking soda. And then what you want to do is you want to give it a real good mix to make everything really nicely blended and uniformly distributed. I like to use a fork. I feel that I have a better grip onto the mixture. Some of you like to put their hands in it. Totally, totally okay. You should maybe take a bigger container to do that. This container is actually a little bit too small, I have to say. But um, okay, let's go ahead and just make sure that really everything is totally well mixed. We are moving along to our next step once everything is nicely mixed, which is the fragrancing of your bath salts. It's of course an optional step and you can choose what kind of a fragrance you want to use for this project. Of course, you can also use like an essential oil or a fragrance oil. I'm gonna use Lily of the Valley 
fragrance oil from Brambleberry that I absolutely love and I think it really fits well to this floral type of bath salt project. You can also use like an essential oil blend, like a, you can see this one that I have. And if you are a member, you can find the recipe in my Buy Me A Coffee page. And here I'm just adding a little bit of fragrance. You can check with your supplier what the usage rate is. Here I'm just adding five grams. I feel it's really strong and it's enough for this type of project. So the fragrance oil, I'm blending it really, really well. I take my time to do that, to really get it dispersed throughout the entire mixture. The next step is to add a type of herb or flower. You could also use lavender or rose, buds, anything like this would work. I chose something a little bit special that I found in a special shop where they sell all these type of herbal products. And this one is mallow flower and mallow is native to Europe, North Africa, and Asia. Dropping a few flowers into bath water is said to provide skin softening properties. And who doesn't want that? I think these look really pretty. I'm also gonna be adding calendula flowers. These are dried calendula petals. And this is also a great addition for bath products. As you probably know, it's very known. And it's a true must-have for any bath mixture. It is a soothing and healing herb, wonderful as a treatment for dry skin. When trying to soothe an area that is out of reach, soaking in a warm calendula-infused bath feels wonderful. So we're gonna add that one too. Next thing to do is now to spoon the mixture into the glass containers or the container that you want to use. I think it looks really pretty like this. It would be a nice gift for someone. And of course you can use it also for yourself now that the fall season is about to arrive. It's always a good thing to take a relaxing bath at the end of the day. This is a very easy skincare DIY project that anyone can do. It takes a couple of minutes. I also found these type of containers here and I thought let's have a look how this is gonna turn out. And the only thing left to do now is to add our labels. This is an optional. Of course you can make your own labels as you wish. And we just add it like so. I think it looks really good and it gives a nice finished touch to the product. All right, so I hope you liked this project and I hope also to see you around for the next video very soon and I wish you a very nice day. Bye bye.